Hey guys and gals, my name is Paladin and this is Summer's Band. We are playing Earthbound today, and maybe we will get a butterfly, but I think not. <laughs> okay, that was really off key because I couldn't hear the music that well because I always keep it low. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles, Sonny. Wow, what a great photograph, Chump Change. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories, Snack Shack. I'm Jack Nicholson, or not Jack Nicholson, Mickey Rooney. <laughs> I don't know how I confused those two names, but I did. Anyway, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, we did a lot. We rescued Paula, we got the fourth Your Sanctuary location in the game, we got halfway through Earthbound, and we crash-landed into the Beach of Summers. A resort. Town. City. Whatever you call it, this is Summers. And this is a Mina Bird. To go to Scaraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? I don't. I don't know. It's a minor bird to go to. Oh, he says the same thing. Oh no! I thought he said different things. But yeah, he does. Okay. <laughs> I got really upset for a moment. Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. And at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. Don't talk to me. My mind is complete blank. Yeah, it's funny because a lot of people will just cycle through what they say, which is a good detail. And that is a taxi cab, which I will fight! Because I like fighting... <laughs> the mode of transportation. That that came out as English. It was more like caveman speak. Okay, Mad Taxi will be frozen. And then it will solidify. And then the Mad Taxi will be able to move. And then it will smash into pieces because that is the highest smash attack we have ever had in the game yet. And Jeff's level is now 36. Offense went up by 1, defense went up by 1, guts went up by 1, vitality went up by 2. Oh baby, IQ went up by 3, luck went up by 1. Sweet! Maximum HP went up by 27! And, wow, stuff's just happening. And, uh, if we look at my stats for Jeff, he has an IQ of 37, which means... Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. He can upgrade the... Broken tube next time we sleep. So, Club Stoic. This is not the Stoic Club. Please be on your way. Man, that was a dirty lie, because, like, clearly it is. Okay, where I want to go first is the shop, which I believe is this way. Yeah, it is. That's it. I wish I could steal this bike and ride it around. So, the shop. The, what it should be called is the overpriced goods shop, because it really is full of overpriced goods. Uh, if, if I don't want to go broke here, I will spend a minimum of $10,000. Or maximum, I mean. <laughs> if, I, if that was my minimum, I would be in trouble. Okay. Hi, welcome to my store. What do you need? I want to buy things. So you want to buy something, eh? Yes. I do not want the Big League Bat because it is expensive. I do not want the Diamond Band, which is $10,000. What I want is the Lucky Coin, and that is it. But, uh, I found a good tip for pl people playing through Earthbound. Don't buy the lucky coin for whoever holds the, um, whatchamacallit, the Mr. Saturn coin? Just don't do it, you don't need to. And I need more money. Because it only raises the defense by three. Yeah, so you're, sp you're paying $5,500 to raise someone's defense by three. So, you, don't, you only need to get two of these if you get them at all. Okay, uh, two... Actually, no, not even that. Um, $300... $600. Yeah, th $600. And now, you! Welcome to my store, what do you need? You want to buy something, eh? Yes, I do. Lucky coin! For... Jeff. Raises it by five. Coin of silence for that much. And we have monies again. Goodbye. And good riddance, sir. I will not buy your other stuff because it would literally clean out my bank account. 
Okay. Although we are kind of getting into the game where I'm independently wealthy, like, I will- besides summers, there isn't really going to be an occasion where I'm going to be using up all of my money. Okay, eight and one, good. Let's move on! But it really is impressive that Paula's Mr. Saturn coin has lasted her this long. I mean, we got that in Saturn Valley, what, ten episodes ago? I think, about ten episodes ago, so it's lasted that long. That's impressive. Okay, now, uh, to the east of Summers is a port town called Toto. And I would like to go to Toto because it has ships for us to rent. East of here is the port town of Toto. No, no, I'm not a billboard. <laughs> okay. Okay, what do you have to say? To go to Scraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? No, not really. Across the sea, there's this town called Scraba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. Do you say something else? No, sadly not. Can I take your books? No, okay. Let me leave you alone. Man, that house is, a, is barren. It just has a bookcase, a table, and a couch. Man, that's kind of sad. Okay, this is a shop. If ye be heading to Scraba, ye ought to start a shop here. Things are expensive down there. So, what are you looking for? Uh, none of your trash. Sorry. I don't need any of your stuff. Will ye be needing anything else then? Please come again, R. <laughs> Remember that episode where all I did for like five minutes was say R? Yeah, that happened. Psst, psst. Okay, you are a root cat. Can I go past you? Mm, wait, can I? No, okay. That makes sense. I'm a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid in Skaraba, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw mummy-shaped uh, mum, mummy monsters with my very own eyes. I like to give these people a foreign accent, because I don't think we're in Eagle Land ever anymore. We're not in America. Okay, let's go in here. And let me find a new voice. Nom <clears throat> nom nom. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I'll warn you though, it's a strange place. That, that was oddly scary. Hello, Jeff? Oh, happy day! I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff. It's, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right. You, the one holding the controller or watching this video. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Okay, well, let's just enter my name, because why not? P. A. Oops. L. A. D. I. Where's N? N. Enter. No, no. Enter. Enter. <laughs> enter. Thank you very much, is this correct? Oh no, I have to do it again. Down, 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 down. Okay, good. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later. Jeff, I hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From T-O-N-Y. Got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. That Tony, though, he's, he's so friendly. Okay. Meow. Oddly, these are like the only animals in the game that don't speak to us. Oh, but these are the- Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, these are the only cats in the game. And they're the only animal that Ness cannot read the thoughts. Okay. That makes perfect sense. I don't want to go out- Okay, I need, I need a voice for this guy because he's behind a door. Um, this'll work. I don't want to go out to sea because of the dragon. Now I need to press A. I mean, any normal person would feel the same way. Hopefully you can hear that. If not, I apologize. Okay, so that was the thing. Let's talk to some more people before- Voice very much. Before we use the phone and call the Stoic Club and make a reservation. Because that's ultimately what we need to do. Oh, a dog! 
bow. Now, brown cow? <laughs> that earthbound patented hum humor, though. If you come closer, I'll play the trumpet! Uh, I don't know how to play yet. That's funny. Bow now, brown cow! Goodbye. Dinosaurs existed! I saw one! It had to be out- it had been out of the underground when it dried out. Of course, it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I, I believe that you believe that you saw a dinosaur. Meow! Once again, Ness can't read the thoughts of cats, only other animals, which makes sense. Because cats are confusing. Just like <clears throat> women. Okay, uh, <laughs> would you like a boat ride? No, not yet. That's not, I'm not into that right now. Okay, I understand. I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not fr afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring your magic cake business. These days, she spends her time hanging out in a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interests to discuss. Is our relationship over? <sighs> That's sad. That's really sad. He's like, sad and stuff. So I'm sad for him because I am probably one of the most empathetic people he will ever know. Seriously, if I see someone get injured, like, on TV or something, ooh, I, I feel it too. Okay. Uh, let's go to the... Oh, wait, we need a phone. That's right. We need to... Uh, let's see. You know what? The shop is right next to the Stoic Club, so let's walk over there and use the phone over there. That makes the most sense. Museum. Stoic Club, or Club Stoic. And the shop, which is painted very prettily. It's like California or something. Okay, shop, phone, picked up the receiver, and Stoic Club, our new number. Hello, this is the- oh wait. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Nessa, would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We're looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Click. Beep. 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 Even the phone is, like, polite and stoic. Which are not the same thing. Polite and stoic, they're actually very different, but, uh, whatever. <laughs> this is my channel, I can make up words and make up meanings for words however I want. So, now we can go to Club Stoic, one of the most boring clubs I've ever seen. If you want to have a chat with these fine people, do not talk to this woman. She is a bad man, don't you look at her. She's not a woman, she's a bad man. You! Oh boy, I'm gonna have to read your text. Uh, didactily, didactily speaking, Seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your, repu uh, your reputation of entropy supports my theory of space-time th synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. And, now in the fee voice... <clears throat> Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your, that your reputation of entropy supports my theory of space-time th synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. See, everything's easy. All long words are easier in the fee voice. I promise. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Incredible. Hmm. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? Nah, yeah, it actually really does. You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. You don't understand what the hey everyone's talking about, do you? I don't either. But I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious, intellectual discussions. Actually, it's easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. That's fine, because it's one of my, like, my favorite drinks. Uh, you say the same thing. I can't exor examine the Philosopher's Stone, which is an item from League, which was removed. Okay, let's talk to the woman that we weren't supposed to talk to before. I finally awakened the inner me. The true self. The patrons of this club are able to share into their own soul, hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I am now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn an impression into my super ego. 
I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My Eid is telling me. What? What? Magic cake? You came all this way to eat my magic cake? Uh, sure. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? Do 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 do. First of all, that's sketchy. Second of all, that's extremely sketchy because we're supposed to get magic cake from a cart on the beach. Oh boy. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake? I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in! I used all my leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Ness had a dream. It was very clear and very strange. Dream. Dalam, in the Far East. The Palace of Pooh, the Crown Prince. Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and ensure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of training. Oh my goodness, I sounded like Kami. My word. I did not know I had that capability. So, Pooh. This is a character. This is Pooh. And he has zero dollars. But also, he has, first of all, he's level 15, but second of all, he has PSI Freeze Alpha and Beta, PSI Thunder th uh, Alpha and Beta, he has Life Up Alpha Beta, Healing Alpha Beta, he has Shield Alpha Epsilon? Yeah, Epsilon, that, wait, no, sorry, I got this wrong before, it's not Epsilon, it is, let me look it up, it's Sigma, I got it wrong before, I'm not going to get it wrong again and nothing else so he's almost a cross between Ness and Paula which is pretty interesting whoa there's a brain food lunch inside Ness oh sorry Paula uh, who takes it who opened the chest whoa there's a cup of life noodles inside who takes it whoa there's a brainstone inside. Who takes it? So, three items, one of which we don't know what it does. Brainstone, help. A miraculous stone that allows you that enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. This is accomplished just by your keeping this item. This is great because if you can't concentrate, you can't use PSI. So, the brainstone is an odd item in that it's only useful against four of I think four enemies in the entire game. It, percent, it prevents PSI, or not PSI block, but a status ailment that is basically called PSI block, where it will prevent characters from using PSI moves. And since Pooh has one of the lowest luck, stat, uh, luck growth stats in the entire game, it makes sense that he should be able to use PSI at all times. So, like I said, Pooh is pretty much a cross between uh, Ness and Paula, but psychically he is. He does not use bash tax as well as either of them, and if we look at his equipment, we can see that he has nothing to be equipped. And there, are only, there is one equipable item for each one of his slots, so there are only four items that he can equip in the entire game. And they're part of a series called the Of Kings series. So the Sword of Kings, the Bracer of Kings, uh, the Diadem of Kings, and the something of Kings, I don't know. Is that you, Ness? Why are you just dis disguising your voice like that? Wh who are you, pr you pretending to be? Oh well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you have to, uh, have, to have a sense of humor at times, a uh, time like this. I've deposited stuff and stuff. Okay, so that this guy is a living phone. 
wonderful. Let's talk to some of these people. Use the treasures of Delam as you wish. Go in peace. This will be cool for voice uh, voices for me, because I like doing voices. This Let's Play has been a great opportunity to expand my voices. Prince Pooh, you're my favorite. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, uh, that's fun. So this is Delam, the floating city in the sky. So it's Skyloft, but also not. It's Shangri-La. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm-hmm. <laughs> These people are very deep. Very, very deep. And they're elephants. They're cool elephants. So, Delam, we're supposed to be carrying out Pooh's final trial. And, thank goodness, this is not the end of the episode, because there's stuff and time left for me to do things. Pweet poot. So these, yeah, not not the most co correct thing in the world. Oh, Prince. Oh, you different. You need different voice. Oh, Prince Pooh. I'm surprised you're not in training. It looks like th that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. You know, I won't play with you, but I will go in your house. Please come in. Look around in the house as much as you want. Who opened the chest? Whoa! There's a bottle of water inside, which allows me to talk about another thing. Bottles of water. Well, for other characters, they restore not much PP. Pee -pee. But, when who drinks it, it restores a lot of PP. Pee -pee. So, he almost has an infinite PP pee -pee boost of his own. But also, who does not, not like normal food items? In fact, food items don't really work on him. So, he has to augment his pee, pee with the bottles of water in order to heal himself. Oh, Prince Pooh, do you have time to play with me? Happy me! Patty cake, patty cake! <laughs> For some reason, they all have English accents, and I do too. That ha makes no sense at all. I just roasted some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. <laughs> this is fun, man. This is really fun. So, this is odd, but also, this is the pathway to getting the last party member. I heard that Prince Pooh is deeply into Moo training. I want to help him if I can. I have a guy's voice for some reason. Whoa! There's a jar of deli sauce inside. These voices are fun! Use it by sprinkling over food. It's good with food. It's just, it's just a thing. Okay. Do you know that you can do anything well, right? You do do? Oops. Say, Prince Pooh, are you still popular with the girls? <laughs> sure. I heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. <laughs> I am not sure if maybe the, s the tiny, like, s lisps or splurs that, the, uh, that Earthbound gives these people is more racist, or maybe my voice is. Prince Pooh! Blush. You're such a hunk! So, like, Pooh's the guy. <laughs> there are only two types of guy on this floating island. There are the old men, and then there's Pooh. I wish I could recover my pee-pee just by drinking water. Even though I have never seen him before, I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, just what is pee-pee anyway? We serve water, rice gruel, and these sorts of things. What would you like to do? Oh, there's a shop! Cool! Actually, I think these these things of food uh, Pooh is a fan of, so that's a thing. But the ex simple existence of a shop here means that we will be able to come back here and buy stuff later. Whoa! There's a bottle of water! <laughs> yeah! I may be drunk this episode, but you'll never tell, because I will never tell that if I am drunk or not. You'll just have to say... Whoa. You'll just have to say yes or no in the comments. As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. Like, <laughs> the happy, happy rabbits, apparently. Okay, this is where I would like to go before I end off the episode. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I am still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Power Rangers! Go, go, yeah! Let's climb the rope! Oh wait, I should probably read the sign. Sign! What do you have to say to me? 
This is Mu, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Mu, you'll pass through. Mu is Mu. So, once again, Earthbound never takes itself seriously, which is a good thing, but this is the Spire of Nothingness. Ah, Prince Pooh! I have a messenger from your master, master, master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Leave, leave. Prince Pooh, Pooh, Pooh. You must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this, this, this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince Pooh. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. Prince Pooh, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Ah, Prince Pooh. Without your legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now, I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, uh, now... I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all that you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably won't uh, want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer. You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you'll lose any feelings of sadness. Do you... Accept this. I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Know that I will possess it. Prince Pooh! You have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Man, when I first saw that, like, that freaked me out. I did not want to comply to Pooh's ancestor, but that is the only way to progress, and it will give us some perks. We have completed Pooh's training, and that is not just a symbolic thing. It will give him some things that he will benefit greatly from, but you can find out what those things are by tuning in to the next episode. Don't you dare ch press that channel button on your remote, which you don't use for YouTube. Don't press it. Just stay on this channel until the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we will hopefully get reunited with the main group and have all four party members of the game and become great. Join me then. If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, why would you not? Then comment and tell me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. See you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound. I will end this episode. You will no longer be able to watch this episode. Do you accept this?